Now for part four of the in-depth final reviews. And this is of course Dark Side of the Moon. This is a Japanese release of the album. And it this the front of the album or the this comes with a book. Very interesting book here. There you go. So you got this was recorded in nineteen seventy two at Abbey Road Studios between June nineteen seventy two and January nineteen seventy three. And this is the best Floyd album. Most Pink Floyd fans would say I, I I would have to agree with that. This is the very first album I heard by the Floyd, and I enjoyed it. The Wall is I would say the next uh, great album by Pink Floyd. Pretty much all of them are good except for the Final Cut, and that's just my personal opinion. <coughs> uh, sleeve design by Hypnosis, and I think they. Hypnosis did, um, art, art by George Hardy, I think he did, uh, a lot of their artwork and st things of that sort. And it says they're also available on cassette and cartridge, I'm guessing 8-track, which I've never seen that. Here's the famous pictures of the pyramid, and it has a little biography in here of the band, I believe. And more great photos, some more... A discography, and some of this, the rest of this is in Japanese. The history of Pink Floyd. That's right. Another photo of the band. And sorry, guys, for the kind of bad quality of this camera. It's a, it's a cheap camera. It's kind of cheap. It's about 200 bucks. There's a great uh, old picture of the band. I believe that was done maybe 1970s, maybe 72. more Japanese and here you have, no this is actually the lyrics let's go back, you have that it's not the best of quality but hey, I don't expect that from 1972 not to say that, you know, printing in 1972 was not good, because I'm sure it was and the record label whoa, the record label is EMI of course and you're going to have to contend with that till I there you go. Put this back in right quick. There we go. All right. And there's the back of the album. Now this is the original album cover, of course. Well, here's the front. We were looking at the back. Ah, it's double sided actually. Yes, it is. <laughs> and we are looking at the original cover. And the vinyl keeps wanting to come out of there. Stay in there, you. Okay. Moving onward. Um, this was actually released a few more times on CD. And they slightly changed the artwork, as most fans would know, to a um, the pyramid was actually gray in the CD releases, the later CD releases. I think the 1992 CD releases when they started changing it up. Um, I have seen... Actually, let's get back to this. This cover is actually original. They have the original cover with an out... Uh, more outline of blue. There's more blue in it. And that was... Uh, I like the original album cover. It was also changed for the 2000... Uh, what was it? 2003 for the 30th anniversary? Or 2005 release which I actually bought, Super Audio CD. And it does not sound... It doesn't sound reminiscent of the old album. It sounds different. It's mixed by someone else. and uh, It just sounds too different. It's not the classic sound that we all love, have come to love and know. Uh, I guess it's for people that like that kind of thing. It's also the Super Audio CDs are mixed in 5.1 surround sound. It sounds decent, but I... Uh, yeah, selling that copy. Anyways, moving onward. The Led Zeppelin album, the Led Zeppelin one. And this is, uh, the original album cover actually had, uh, it's lettered orange text. Also the Atlantic logo is also red. And this picture on the back, I believe, is actually, maybe it is a yellow tint, I don't know. But, uh, 
everybody knows this album. This is, I believe, this is in uh, 1980 re-release on vinyl, maybe? It sounds great. It sounds awesome. I was very pleased by buying this when I got this from a garage sale just up the street from where I live for a dollar. It's, uh, it sounds like it's not been played at all. And the Floyd album was pretty much the same way, the one we, I just showed you. Now, the great album, The Wall, I don't know if I already showed this in my last, uh, I think I showed this in my, in another video. And, yes, I think I did, I already reviewed this. This has already been reviewed. Here we are with Pink Floyd Relics, this is being re released also on CD. But the record cover is different, and you can see those strange eyes, four eyes there. It's, uh, it's kind of trippy there if you look at that. It's kind of a trick on the mind. A, and it's called Relics, a bizarre collection of antiques and cu curios. <laughs> and you got Arnold Lane, Interstellar Overdrive, CMA Play, Remember a Day, Paint Box, Careful That Axe Eugene, which I don't have on record. And in any other form. Well, I do have it on CD, anyways. Julia Dream, Serious Minor from the film Moore, the Nile song, also from the Moore uh, soundtrack, Biding My Time. Uh, what was that on? That was on Saucer Full of Secrets, I believe, yes. And Bike, which was also on the first uh, Pink Floyd album, Piper of the Gates of Dawn. Uh, I didn't get any interest with this one. This one I bought for like four bucks. And it was. This one is in very good condition. There we are with the green capital logo, and it is, of course, black vinyl. Now, for Johnny Cash, Private San Quentin. This is in. I'll mention this again. This is an edited performance. This is not the entire show. You get about eight songs. Actually, you get nine. It's two versions of the uh, uh, San uh, what is it? Was it what is it? San Quentin song that Johnny Cash wrote, especially for the um, occupants there of San Quentin at the time. That's a wonderful album to get. This album has also been re released on two versions on. Uh, you got two versions on one CD that's been re-released, and they're pretty much the same. The same thing, but you get a few extra songs that are on the performance itself. Um, and then you got the box set, which is two CDs, the full performance of the show, including other guests. I don't know if you have all their songs on there that they performed, but you get the entire Johnny Cash performance at San Quentin that was performed live in 1969. Um, his uh, performances he did at the prisons were very, very good. And most people think, say that uh, performances done on camera are a little bit toned down. They're not quite as good. The band knew they were being filmed, so they didn't go all out. That's not true with Johnny Cash. I don't really think that's true for any band, really. They do their best. They do their best work on camera, I think, or tape. And for that matter. And this album, for this vinyl release, you get more pictures than the CD re release, at least the box set that I know of, that I've seen. That's all for this part four of this in-depth vinyl review, and when I buy some more vinyl, I will review them. And for now, I'm just going to do a full review of the vinyl instead of just showing it to you. I might show it to you and then review it in depth like this. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.